National flags don't always stay the same forever. Just look at the American flag, for instance. It's changed 26 times since the US gained independence. This got me thinking, how common is it for a national flag to change? In this video, I will list every single change to a national flag since the year 2000 and give some information about the changes along the way. Now, disclaimer, this information was gathered in July of 2023, so there may have been even more changes if you're watching this video several years later. Now, how many changes have there been? Well, you have to wait and see. The first national flag change of the 21st century was on January 24, 2001, when Turkmenistan changed its flag from this to this. Not really a major change, just the aspect ratio is altered from 1x2 to 2x3 and the green field is made slightly brighter. Okay, this next change is more interesting. On October 25, 2001, Rwanda changed its flag from this to this. This change actually has some more complex reasoning behind it. The previous flag was adopted in 1961, shortly after Rwanda became an independent nation and used the Pan-African colors along with many other newly independent African nations at the time. The big R was put in the center to distinguish it from the flag of Guinea. However, in 2001, the government changed it since, over time, they felt it was becoming increasingly associated with the 1994 Rwandan genocide. Despite this, many Rwandans questioned this reasoning at the time and viewed it as the government simply modifying national symbols to increase their power and influence over the nation. On November 13th, 2001, Afghanistan changed its flag from this to this. This change was made after the Taliban lost control of much of Afghanistan during the war in Afghanistan and the Islamic State of Afghanistan overtook the Islamic Emirate. This is the first example of a flag that would later be changed even further throughout the 21st century. On December 23rd, 2001, the Comoros changed its flag from this to this. This change was made following the ratification of a new constitution for the nation which specified the design of a new flag. The next flag change was in early 2002 when St. Lucia changed its flag from this to this. The cerulean blue field of the original flag was changed to light blue. This is the first flag change which I couldn't find an exact date for yet, sources say it most likely came from around January to March 2002. Remember how I mentioned that Afghanistan would later change its flag even further? Well, we're already back, as on January 28, 2002, Afghanistan changed its flag from this to this. This change was made due to the government wanting to revert the design of the Afghan flag back to the old black-red-green tricolor that had been used in past versions of the flag. Fun fact, this tricolor design originates from the year 1928, when the King of Afghanistan took a trip to Europe and was inspired by the flag of Germany. This can be seen by the flag of Afghanistan from the same year, in which you can tell there's a correlation. On February 14th, 2002, Bahrain changed its flag from this to this. This flag was introduced following Decree by Law No. 4 for 2002, which stated the King of Bahrain's new guidelines for the flag. I should mention now that when a nation gains independence, I'm going to count that as a national flag change. Consider it the nation changing its flag from nothing to something. On May 20th, 2002, East Timor gained independence and adopted this as its first and current flag. This flag was actually originally used in 1975 when East Timor originally gained independence before being annexed by Indonesia in 1976. However, as previously mentioned, their independence was restored in 2002, and this flag once again became a national flag. On June 27th, 2002, there was, once again, a change to the Afghan flag as it changed from this to this. Nothing major this time, just the coat of arms has changed from white to gold. This change was made shortly after the Afghan Transitional Authority was established in order to transition the nation toward adopting a representative government. On July 22nd, 2002, Albania changed its flag from this to this. This change was made following the ratification of Law No. 8926 of the Constitution of the Republic of Albania, which established a new standardized set of guidelines relating to the flag's design. On January 17th, 2003, Italy changed its flag from this to this. This change was made following a circular by the State Secretary for the Presidency of the Council of Ministers, which specified a new set of colors for the flag. While I was at least able to find the time of year St. Lucia changed its flag in 2002, I couldn't find an exact date at all for this next change. In 2003, the Democratic Republic of the Congo changed its flag from this to this. Once again, just a simple color change with the dark blue field becoming brighter. Finally, another major change. On January 14th, 2004, Georgia changed its flag from this to this. The new flag in its modern form was used as a patriotic symbol after Georgia gained independence from the Soviet Union in 1991. While many attempts were made throughout the 90s to adopt the flag as a national flag, and the Parliament of Georgia actually passed a bill to make it so in 1999, it wasn't until 2004 when the President of Georgia finally endorsed it and made it official. On July 8, 2004, Lithuania changed its flag from this to this. The aspect ratio just changed from 1x2 to 3x5. The new flag was actually originally used back in 1918 when Lithuania gained independence from the Russian Empire, while also technically being occupied by the German Empire. However, in 1940, the Soviet Union took over Lithuania, and when Lithuania's independence was restored in 1989, the flag returned just with a 1x2 aspect ratio. In 2004, the flag was reverted back to its original design. 
On August 15, 2004, Iraq changed its flag from this to this. Following the 2003 invasion of Iraq, the new administration in the nation wanted to change the flag to remove the pan-Arab design along with any association with Saddam Hussein. However, many Iraqi citizens contradicted these efforts, stating pan-Arabism to be an integral principle of most of the population's ideals for several decades and rejecting the claims that the old flag was entirely associated with the former presidency, seeing as the basic design of the flag had been used as far back as 1963. In the end, the administration compromised and just changed the writing on the flag to a stylized script instead of Saddam Hussein's handwriting. On October 9, 2004, Afghanistan changed its flag from this to this. This change was made following the approval of a new constitution for Afghanistan, which changed the aspect ratio from 1x2 to 2x3 and altered the flag's colors. On February 18, 2006, the Democratic Republic of the Congo changed its flag from this to this. Two variants of a similar design were actually used by the nation from 1963 to 1971, with the first version having a slightly different slant and both versions having a dark blue field. On March 12, 2006, Venezuela changed its flag from this to this. An A star was added to represent the Guyana province, which was the province of Venezuela when it originally declared independence, and the colors were modified. On April 14, 2006, Italy changed its flag from this to this. Yeah, the changes to the flag from 2003 were literally just reverted. Moving on. On April 24, 2006, Cyprus changed its flag from this to this. This is just a simple redesign, changing the shape of the olive branches, altering the colors, repositioning the flag's elements, and changing the aspect ratio from 3x5 to 2x3. On June 3, 2006, Montenegro gained independence from the State Union of Serbia and Montenegro and adopted this flag as its national flag. Two days later, on June 5, 2006, Serbia also gained independence from the Union and adopted this flag as its national flag. On September 1, 2006, Ukraine changed its flag from this to this. Like many changes so far, this was just a re-specification of the colors. On October 4, 2006, Lesotho changed its flag from this to this. This flag was chosen from a set of four proposed designs which replaced the Basoto shield and the old flag with a Basoto hat. This flag, interestingly enough, was adopted on the 40th anniversary of the day Lesotho gained independence from the United Kingdom. On January 22, 2008, Iraq changed its flag from this to this. This edition of the flag removed the three stars, as many Kurds in Iraq associated the stars with the Anfal campaign of 1988. On May 16, 2009, Ethiopia changed its flag from this to this. This is just a simple color modification. The light blue disc in the center was changed to a darker shade of blue. Here's another change that I couldn't find an exact date for. In November 2009, Ecuador changed its flag from this to this. This change was made after the Ecuadorian National Secretariat of Communication issued a series of regulations describing new guidelines for the flag, including a change in aspect ratio with the new flag having a ratio of 2 by 3. On July 29, 2010, Malawi changed its flag from this to this. The new flag was created by the Democratic Progressive Party, which at the time led the Malawian government. However, many people in the nation didn't like the new flag upon its introduction, viewing it as unnecessary, illegitimate, and undemocratic. On October 21st, 2010, Myanmar changed its flag from this to this. The new flag was originally detailed in the 2008 Constitution of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar, but didn't become official until the 2010 Union Flag Law. The old flag was originally introduced back when Myanmar, at the time known as Burma, became a socialist republic and added a corn cob and cog to represent the new government. As a result, by the time the new constitution was being created, the old flag had become outdated. On November 11th, 2010, Serbia changed its flag from this to this. Like many prior examples, this was just a simple redesign and helped standardize some elements of the flag. On May 30th, 2011, South Korea changed its flag from this to this. Once again, the colors were just made brighter. On July 1st, 2011, Eswatini, known at the time as Swaziland, changed its flag from this to this. The injabo tassels on the flag were changed from blue to black since widow bird feathers, which are what the tassels are made of, are actually naturally black, not blue. On July 8th, 2011, Mongolia changed its flag from this to this. This is yet another color standardization, in which the bright blue center became darker, the Sayombo symbol became a more mild shade of yellow, and the red bars were slightly adjusted. On July 9th, 2011, South Sudan gained independence and adopted this as its national flag. This flag actually originates from six years earlier on July 9th, 2005, when South Sudan achieved greater autonomy from Sudan. Independence was later achieved in 2011, and this flag was upgraded to a national flag. On July 22nd, 2011, San Marino changed its flag from this to this. This change was made following the law on the flag and coat of arms of San Marino, which established official standardizations for the flag. On August 3rd, 2011, Libya changed its flag from this to this. This flag was established by the National Transitional Council during the First Libyan Civil War and was eventually recognized by the United Nations as the official flag of Libya. 
The new flag was actually used initially from 1951 to 1969, but it was abolished when Gaddafi took control of the nation. On February 10th, 2012, Belarus changed its flag from this to this. The new flag was established by the State Committee for Standardization of the Republic of Belarus and simply adjusted the ornament pattern at the hoist and regulated a new set of colors. On May 28th, 2012, Malawi changed its flag from this to this. If you recall, this change is the reverse of what occurred previously in 2010, as in 2012, the new government led by the People's Party opted to revert the flag. On July 15th, 2013, Paraguay changed its flag from this to this. This change was intended to simplify the coat of arms in the center, while also adjusting the flag's exact colors. On August 19th, 2013, Afghanistan changed its flag from this to this. This change adjusted the emblem in the center, while also enlarging it to overlap with the black and green bars on the sides of the flag. Now we've reached the largest gap in the video thus far, with not a single alteration to a national flag occurring for almost four years. On August 15th, 2017, Mauritania changed its flag from this to this. The red stripes were added to represent the efforts and sacrifices that the people of Mauritania will keep consenting to the price of their blood to defend their territory, following a referendum ten days prior. On September 30th, 2017, Thailand changed its flag from this to this. This change was made on the 100th anniversary of the adoption of the old flag, where an announcement was made from the office of the Prime Minister that standardized a new set of colors for the flag. On December 22nd, 2017, Panama changed its flag from this to this. This change was made following Executive Order Number 337 from the Panamanian government, which, say it with me everyone, specified a new set of colors for the flag. This is getting old. On August 28th, 2019, Belize changed its flag from this to this. Prior to 2019, Belize's flag had very little standardization, as the flag specifications could have multiple valid interpretations. This change specifically instituted a new set of guidelines for the flag and standardized each of the elements. On July 13th, 2020, France changed its flag from this to this. Both flags have coexisted as variants of each other for several decades, but in 2020, the government opted to switch the official flag from the lighter variant to the darker variant. On August 15th, 2021, Afghanistan changed its flag from this to this. This change was made when the Taliban regained control over Afghanistan, and if you recall Afghanistan's first flag change in the video, means that the nation's flag has pretty much gone full circle since the beginning of the century. Finally, on January 26, 2022, Honduras changed its flag from this to this. This design for the flag was originally standardized in 1949, which stated that the bars needed to be bright blue. However, the flag remained dark blue in practice and wasn't altered to fit the criteria until the inauguration of President Castro 73 years later. And that is every single change to a national flag in the 21st century. In total, that's 47 total changes since the start of the millennium. Technically 43 if you don't want to count nations gaining independence as a national flag change. On average, that's 2.04 changes per year, excluding 2023 since the year is still ongoing. That's impressive considering the near 4 year gap from 2013 to 2017. Now, there is room for further discussion. If you have a credible source that states the exact date that St. Lucia, the DRC, or Ecuador changed their flag, I'd be interested in seeing it in the comments. If there's a change that you particularly like, or one that you think is totally unwarranted, feel free to state your reasoning. Other than that, I hope you have a good day.